going on everyone? Uh, first of all, before I start this video, I'd like to say rest in peace to the late Walt Hazard, uh, you know, a legend of UCLA, of course. One of the, he was on the first team that won the national, the first national title for UCLA hoops. I uh, got to give you know big condolences to the families and those affected by the death of uh, Walt Hazard. I, I do remember that name, and I know he wore number 42. Besides Jackie Robinson, he's the other 42 uh, well known on uh, UCLA, of course, basketball wise. So uh, rest in peace to Walt Hazard. Hope everything's okay. May rest in peace. Now on to the game. Uh, Pretty solid, very solid win. Uh, the scoreboard, you know, speaks for itself. <laughs> Colorado was Colorado, and thank goodness UCLA took care of business like they're supposed to. They ran the ball all over, all over Colorado's defense. I mean, Colorado depleted defense. I knew that their secondary is very depleted. Uh, Kevin Prince, very efficient on the game. I know it's we're playing against Colorado, but. Hey, it's nice to see that Prince is making some good throws here and there. There, there. He could have had more if he hit some open receivers. But, you know, it starts out with a nice pass to Shaquille Evans. Uh, you know, the deep ball working. And then, of course, the running game was effective. Uh, Sean Westgate got an interception. Uh, congrats to him. One of the, uh, I think he's one of the seniors on this team as well. Uh, senior day, of course, in the Rose Bowl. Uh, you know, thank you for taking care of business at home. This team is going bowling. So, it's nice to know that they'll have the postseason. You know, it started out 21 to nothing, and we never really had to look back too much. Just, you know, the second quarter was a little sloppy. I think there was, you know, Colorado took advantage of us a little for a one score. But, uh, and, you know, back and forth, it was just kind of, okay, we got the stops we needed to. But this is just Colorado being Colorado. They, they're a mess right now. They have a lot of problems. I'm not going to say too much about, you know, trash talking to them or whatnot, because Colorado is in a pretty tough situation, we'll just say. Tyler Gonzalez missed that one field goal. That was a little bit painful, but, you know, he's a walk-on. I mean, what can you do? Uh, fourth quarter, though, is all Bruins. Once again, they get to run up the score on these guys. <laughs> lots of uh, runnings, lots of plays. The running game was so good to see. Prince was doing the reading on the pistol very well. He passed when he needed to. Uh, Colorado secondary was given a huge cushion, and they're playing scared for obvious reasons, considering how short on the depth chart they really are. Colorado's got a lot of issues on defense, but Prince was very efficient. Uh, played pretty well out there today. I'll uh, give some credit where credit's due. Uh, I know it's hard that you really, I know these stats are kind of padded because it's Colorado, but hey, I'll take a comfortable win. I haven't seen a score 40 plus points in a long time. Haven't had these comfortable wins in a while, you know, considering that this season has been a horror show of suffrage wins. Uh, finally get to see a good win. Uh, can't say that enough. Barrier. Barrier is a really nice, decent weapon at tight end. I liked what I've been seeing from Joseph Barrier all year. I uh, showed it again. He was making the big catch. Also, uh, Nelson Rosario got a nice touchdown in the red zone. Uh, you know, one of the seniors as well. Uh, the only thing beside that I hated about this game was the penalties. Uh, especially in the first half. The penalties were really ugly. Uh, I don't know. We got to work on that. The penalties going to be need to be worked on. Uh, if we play like this against USC, we're going to get blown out. And right now, as I'm making this video, they're getting, they're killing Oregon. It's ridiculous how they are killing Oregon right now as I'm making this video. So, you know, in garbage time, uh, you know, got extra turnovers. You know, Andrew Abbott, I think, had two interceptions on the game, if, if I made that right. Uh, it's, it's really just really good to see that this team finally played a complete game, uh, a running game. Jonathan Franklin all over the ground. Prince, as I said, the read, read options were well. I wanted to see Derek Coleman score a touchdown near the end. This guy's worked hard out for us four years at UCLA. It would have been nice. Uh, I wish the coaches put him in a little more. A lot of people, he's a lot one of those more underrated backs. But we just don't use him enough. I, I would have liked to see him more. Uh, also, Jonathan Franklin, please hold on to the ball. There was that one fumble he had that, you know, that's his typical Jonathan Franklin. He always fumbles like once a game. It feels, it feels like that. But, uh, yeah, a solid win. Uh, <laughs> scoreboard shows what it is. It's like we're playing an FCS opponent. This was like a bye week pretty much. Uh, got a tough game against USC coming up. Uh, of course, I'll talk about that later. But enjoy this win, guys. We're going bowling at least. We'll have at least some postseason. Uh, but let me know what you guys thought about this game, uh, Bruin fans and non-Bruin fans. See you guys later, and uh, go Bruins. Let's beat the Trojans, because it's hate week coming. Go Bruins.